Hello, and welcome to another episode of Literary Lutheran Reads This Altar with Luther. This episode is for Thursday, and today we read Psalm 92. The 92nd Psalm is a psalm of comfort that extols God's word as the most highly exalted and precious gift against the false saints whom it attacks. They certainly flower for a time, glorious and powerful, but finally they perish. However, the righteous will remain forever. Although they come to an old age, they shall yet never be old, but they become young daily through God's word, which always conveys fruit and new growth. But fools neither consider nor understand these things, as we also see today in our own time. It is good to give thanks to the Lord, to sing praises to your name, O Most High, to declare your steadfast love in the morning and your faithfulness by night, to the music of the lute and the harp, to the melody of the lyre. For you, O Lord, have made me glad by your work. At the works of your hands I sing for joy. How great are your works, O Lord! Your thoughts are very deep. The stupid man cannot know, the fool cannot understand this, that though the wicked sprout like grass and all evildoers flourish, they are doomed to destruction forever. But you, O Lord, are on high forever. For behold your enemies, O Lord, for behold, your enemies shall perish, all evildoers shall be scattered. But you have exalted my horn like that of the wild ox. You have poured over me fresh oil. My eyes have seen the downfall of my enemies. My ears have heard the doom of my evil assailants. The righteous flourish like the palm tree and grow like a cedar in Lebanon. They are planted in the house of the Lord. They flourish in the courts of our God. They still bear fruit in old age, they are ever full of sap and green. To declare that the Lord is upright, he is my rock, and there is no unrighteousness in him. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. This has been the Literary Lutheran Reads the Psalter with Luther, and I wish you all a blessed day.